started to see some cabbage moths so it's time to install these little decoy things that I made attached to a stick and these I made out of pieces of plastic and a sharpie pen I place them in the middle of the bed and they're supposed to deter the moths from landing on the kale and collards and they do seem to work I tried them for the first time last year and I noticed a lot less cabbage moths flying around the greens. It's also time to trim the corn plants. I'll trim these lower branches because these just sap energy from the corn. These are all the sucker shoots I trimmed off the corn. I also do the same trimming on these tomato plants. And the main purpose with the tomatoes is you don't want these leaves touching the soil because it promotes fungus and you'll get blight. So now I've trimmed away all those lower leaves, gives the radishes a little more sunshine, prevent disease like blight on the tomatoes. And I'll trim back all the tomatoes, the romas and also the cherries. going to harvest this butterhead lettuce. Okay, it's one week later since I harvested that lettuce. I'm gonna do one more lettuce harvest. And I harvested just half of that bus box. And I got this big, Giant haul, fresh lettuce. Going to do some early morning kale and collard harvesting. Oh yeah. Good morning. I'm going to do a quick walk around tour of the garden. Here's the 
emerald towers basil the lettuce and beets these are the ant mollies ground cherries and super sugar snap peas here's a closer look at the beets down in here you can see the beans getting ready to climb up the trellis and the peppers and the tomatoes corn it's like five feet tall here in the zucchini box I'm still waiting for another one to sprout. It's been kind of troublesome this year. Up here is the hex bed. Starting to form cayenne hot peppers. Sweet banana peppers. Got beets. Here are the garage containers. The Romas starting to produce little tomatoes. These are called Easter egg radishes. You get some red, some purple and some white mm, I love the spicy horseradish taste something incredible about freshly picked vegetables. There's so much water content. It's like a freshness explosion.